I'm just going to talk a little bit about a couple of postgraduate courses that the School of Animal and Veterinary Sciences offer at Charleston University on the Wagga Wagga campus only. Um, if I can just get my screen. Oops. Um, so it's how we can provide you with some more learning experiences that can advance your career and keep you learning. As we know, it's a constant learning cycle as we go throughout life, we never stop learning. Um, oops, I just went the wrong way. A little bit about myself. I am actually a registered veterinarian. I worked in mixed rural practice in New South Wales and then came over about, oh, I looked it up today, it was about 25 years ago and started lecturing. Um, when we started veterinary science, I moved over into veterinary science and was integral in setting up a lot of that course, especially the problem-based learning. Um, as part of that, I won the Australian Veterinary Association Special Interest Group Excellence in Teaching Award. So that's enough about me. Um, let's move on. Uh, so the issue has, uh, has, a, has a Wiradjuri saying, which is Yindamara Wanangana, which means the wisdom of respectfully knowing how to live well in a world worth living in. And that really is the basic of everything that we do. We want, we want the world to be a place worth living in. We want uh, the security of the people and the land. We want education. We want development so that everybody prospers. And we want clear and honest communication with everyone. So because we, a lot of our um, campuses are situated on Wiradjuri land, we do um, take a special, uh, have a special relationship with the Wiradjuri people. Let's see if I can move this out of the way a bit down there. Okay. So because of that, I'd like to acknowledge, do the acknowledgement of country where we pay our respect to all First Nations elders, both past and present from the lands where Charles Sturt University students reside. In particular, we acknowledge the Wiradjuri, Nungawal, Gundungara and Biripai peoples of Australia, who are the traditional custodians of the land where our campuses are located. So why study at CSU? There's a lot of options out there, but why pick CSU? Well, CSU has an amazing reputation for online learning and also for getting jobs. So we're one of the most experienced providers of online education and we have been actually doing online education for a, a quite a number of years, probably 30, over 30 years. And it has evolved as new technology has come on board and we are really a leader in the area of online education. Sometimes the courses have short intensive learning sessions or residential schools where you come onto campus and gain uh, hands-on experience. And um, all students, whether they be online or on campus, have access to the campuses, the learning centers, library, learning commerce, all of the services that are available to on-campus students are available to online students as well. And we have about 70 courses that are available to study online. So we try and fit in around your study needs. Now, I'm not particularly fond of this photograph because I don't see how you could possibly study with two little children in the room, but it is very flexible. You can do it when you want. You can take your computer away into a little nook in your house and study when you um, get the opportunity to. And a lot of our academics have connections with um, the industry in which they, they are working with. So when you go out into, into um, the industry to get a job or to do workplace learning, you'll find that, that there's a wide range of contacts that have already been made for you. So um, at the academics publish widely they integrate with the community. So they are really part of the community. 
and the industry and in which you're interested. And that is across the board for all CSU postgraduate courses. So I'm only going to talk about two courses that the um, School of Animal and Veterinary Sciences offered. Now, I'm, I'm not sure about where you're at, but both of the courses I'm talking about, the Master of Veterinary Studies and the Doctor of Veterinary Studies are only available to veterinarians who are able to be registered in New South Wales. So the Master of Veterinary Studies is where you can develop your skills and knowledge in a particular area or a particular discipline, and it will help you meet the requirements of the Australian College of Veterinary Surgeons to become a member of it. It will also go some way towards your professional recognition as a specialist, but you cannot register as a specialist at this stage, but it will help in, in your um, journey towards becoming a specialist veterinarian in an area. So you can call yourself, for instance, an equine internal medicine specialist. If you're studying at a Wagga campus, which you will be because that's the only real campus that you can study at, we have great facilities that have been built within the last 20 years. Um, we've got great technology, MRI, amazing um, uh, surgery, large animal surgery, small animal surgery, a veterinary diagnostic lab, etc., and an amazing equine center with herds of cattle, sheep and horses. So you are, the Master of Veterinary Studies is for developing clinical research knowledge and skills in, a, in an area or a topic that you're interested in. And it's going to culminate in a dissertation and dissemination of your um, findings in an oral presentation. So the Master of Veterinary Studies is full time, one and a half years or three years part time. We have two intakes in session one and session two. So that's March and July. And you can study it online or on campus at the Wagga Wagga campus. And as I said earlier, you must have a veterinary science degree enabling registration in New South Wales. The second course that I wanted to talk about was the Doctor of Veterinary Studies. So this is for um, veterinary science graduates who have at least one year's professional practice skills. And this will allow you to develop substantial knowledge and skills in a particular area, including critical reflection, clinical research methodology and advanced communication skills, which will go some way to allowing you to meet the requirements of the Australian and or European and or American um, recognition of being a specialist veterinarian. So what it does, it prepares you to sit the exams that are required for you to undertake to meet the specialty status of a veterinarian. So if you if you note or you know somebody who's a specialist in small animal surgery, then they have undertaken something like this and sat the Australian, European or American boards, they call them. So it is a quite, it's the highest level that you can achieve in veterinary science and it's quite a long way to get there. So despite having um, completed a five or six year veterinary degree, you need to have been in practice for at least one year. You need to have done honours during your veterinary degree and received class one or class two A or one honours. Um, and, and you must have the degree that enables registration in New South Wales by the Veterinary Practitioners Board. Uh, once again, it's, uh, it's two intakes, March and July, session one and session two. It's only available on campus and it is three to four years full time or about six years part time. These, both the master and the doctor of studies, the ones that are on campus, the, one, the most that we have are the ones that are interested in equine science because we have a number of equine science specialists. And one of the 
rules about studying doctor of veterinary studies is you must be studying under a specialist. So we, we do tend to have quite a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but, you know, as many as we can take in um, equine science, sorry, in equine medicine or equine surgery areas. We also have had them in small animal clinics, so maybe small animal surgery. We can um, have them in veterinary pathology um, and now diagnostic imaging. So there are some of the areas that we can provide the, the, um, the professors and the associate professors that have the skills and are specialists in these areas. So we do have scholarships. Um, you don't need to be the best essay writer to get scholarships. It always amazes me how few people apply for scholarships and they are out there and it's always worth having a go. I look at it, even if it's for a couple of thousand dollars, if it took you an hour to get it, no one's ever going to pay you a couple of thousand dollars for an hour's worth of work. So that you can look up more at the study.csu.edu.au for slash scholarships. You can book a one-on-one -on -one virtual consult with friendly child stirred advisor if you've got any questions, but after this, we're going to open up the floor to anybody who's still here um, and take questions. You can unmute your mic and we can do that shortly. And we would love to keep in touch. Um, I'll just try and get rid of this for a moment. No, it doesn't want to go away. There we go. So you can take down, note down those um, web addresses so you can keep in touch with us. Um, you can always contact anyone at csu.edu.au and discuss what courses we have available and what we even have short courses available as well that might help. Music